The welcome to the Marable Abattoir. My name is Amanda Francis. I am the administrative officer here. And today we are going to look at some of the runnings of the new and improved Marable Abattoir. So you will have a look at some of the changes that have been made and the new equipments that are being introduced in the way that we slaughter meats in Grenada. In 2003, the Keith Mitchell-led administration had a vision for the development of the town of Grenville. It involved a modern abattoir, improved road infrastructure, upgraded market facilities, and a new bus terminus. Fast forward to date, this vision is becoming a reality. Coined the Greater Grenville Project, many aspects of this project have been achieved, including the Maribo Abattoir. The idea for putting the abattoir in Maribo was twofold. One, because of the poor drainage problem at Grenville, where the current abattoir is located. And secondly, to act as a training facility for students of the Tamsisi Farm School in Maribor. But looking at the bigger picture, it cannot be business as usual for Grenada, especially in the face of changing economies and regional and international trade. The world has moved to a more standard focused way of producing foods, where tracing what's consumed is of utmost importance. In this case, from farm to tables. We need to provide better quality meat to our people. Uh, you had a case where, um, and still is the case now, where the, the butchers slaughter the animals and the carcass would remain hanging for a day, up to 24 hours. Um, there's an old saying that once you hang it and the blood drips, then it will stay fresh. But, you know, the conditions need to improve, especially in a time when the rest of the world is looking at um, how we handle um, uh, our food. Huh? State of Affairs visited the new facility to get a look at the state-of-the-art equipment and machinery that will make the process of slaughtering animals safer and in line with international standards and quality. Meet Amanda Francis, the administrative officer based at the Maribel Abattoir, who knows the inner workings of the facility. This is our stunning box, or as we say, our slaughtering or killing box that is provided for our cattle. There is a free gun system or a free shot system whereby the animal is shot in the head or the cattle is shot in the head and um, killed instantly. This abattoir in Maribo is of the modern type. Um, it has all the facets that, that I expected of us. I know it will pass the, the HACCP standards. What we now need to do is to train our users, our butchers and our vendors because while they would be slaughtering at Maribo, um, the actual sale of the meat will be at the market in Grenville Meat Market. We expect that the old traditional way that we was doing um, the, uh, well, processing meat would be would be would be enhanced and, and become modern because this facility is is one of the most I should say the latest and the most modern we will have within the OECS and maybe the in the, the wider the wider CARICOM countries and so on. Now this pneumatic lifting platform, it may look like an elevator, but this is used so that the butcher is able to hold on to this saw, which is the second saw in the process, and cut or saw the cattle from the vertebral column down. Because as you can see, the height of this line is to fit the size of a cattle. So then in this area, the cattle is able to cut in half. With the assistance of uh, butcher's assistance and more hooks, the cattle could be severed into four at this time, depending on the size or the weight of the cattle. Now, before entering the cattle wash or bath, which is the area of where we are going to be washing down all the sawdust from the bones and the different little pieces that may remain after clearing out the intestines. These are the four cornered shower bath for the cattle. As part of the deal with the Caribbean Development Bank who funded the project, butchers and persons working in the handling of equipment at the abattoir will be trained. The traditional way of slaughtering pigs, small ruminants and cattle will change. So no longer, my dear, you, when you go, the butcher has to chop up and the pieces of bone get stuck in the meat and you're trying to eat a nice, what may look as a nice juicy steak, huh? And then, ouch, a piece of bone gets stuck in your teeth or, 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 or you damage your gum. We'd use all those to give proper cuts and so. Lifting the standard and making sure that as Grenadians, as, as, as nationals of this country, we too can enjoy the best of what is there to be offered. We don't have to wait to travel to Canada, the US or England 
to 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 be able to to enjoy a nice cut you know we are not using the um let's say the hit to the head process in here we are using the process of um, animals being stunned now this one is used this stun gun here is used for the pigs and the other used for the goats and the sheep now the pig on the other hand it's a bigger stun gun because of the mass a pig may have to the head an animal that is not a custom being with another animal like you read that animal by itself should not be in the holding pen with other animals now it makes the meat um there's a certain texture you want in your meat before killing and you want that animal to be in a, a state of mind that it is very normal to it the ministry of health will be responsible for the inspection of the animal before slaughtering known as anti-mortem inspection and after slaughtering called post-mortem inspection all to ensure a safe product. The all meat will, will be actually um, inspected, stamped and certified fit under a modern facility. Right? Now in terms of, we, we also have to ensure that the, 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 the maintenance of the, the sanitation of the, of the facility that we will have to be you know, paramount or important, not like what we do, we do down. And there is, you know, Lot of modern, you got you got hot water uh, available. You have equipment, equipment to have to be sterilized, and and all this um, faci um, facility is there to ensure that not only the the product will the, the product be safe, but also the facility in which it's, it, it is done actually um, you know is done under the most hygienic condition. The sheep and the goats, however, there is no boilers for them or special killing process. After they have been stunned in the slaughtering area, they, there is an insertion to be made close to the neck um, to sever some of the, the veins in there so that the bleeding can take place. After that, they are manually skinned. Um, using these counters, uh, mainly for the sheep and the goat process, are manually being skinned and attached to the lines from these hooks. The sheep and goats doesn't have much of a process as the cattle and the, the pigs. The Maribel Abattoir will become the premier facility for the slaughtering of animals for the purpose of public consumption. This will make all other abattoirs obsolete. A team of highly trained butchers and butchers assistants will man the facility controlled by hand-picked management. It's a new system that's expected to yield better results. We we'll hope that in time, with modern facilities, with an improvement and an increase in the production of small ruminants and so, we might be able to slaughter and export to places like Trinidad, but the demand for goat and sheep is way above what they can, can provide. So there are opportunities lying ahead in all that we're trying to do there. It will also be beneficial to farmers or butchers interested in growing or expanding their business. At the end of the day, you know, going to the bank or financial institution for assistance to do their business or to expand in their business, we would be able to give them a paperwork as to, um, let's say a butcher as Mr. Simon Jack, he's selling a thousand pound of pork per, per, like every three months or six months. So he has a rundown of what he's selling. So he has the assurance that I am doing this and I want to expand into that. So it's kind of like to help with a business plan so that he's able to go into a financial institution with his documents, accurate information that we could assist him with. It is my hope as a representative from St. Andrews that that will lift the standard um, of what the butchers offer. It would encourage more people now to want to go back to the market to purchase meat. And, and by extension, our, our persons who are into animal husbandry, who, who does you know, farming through animals as, as a means of survival, would have um, more revenue being generated because people would want to get back into having nice cuts of beef or lamb or you know, chivon, as, as goat meat is supposed to be called. Yes? So um, that is the hope. For State of Affairs, I am Abigail McIntyre.